here. It's here. So um, I ordered this parcel back in March. The day that I'm filming this is the 4th of August, but it's here. It's actually here. Hey guys, welcome back to a page in a chapter or welcome if you are new here. I have never done an unboxing video before, but I thought I would give it a try today because I am so excited about this parcel. I am ecstatic about it actually. So that's what we're doing today. Let me know if you'd want to see more unboxing videos. I don't really know what I would unbox, but do let me know if you enjoy this. And also feel free to hit that big red subscribe button if you would like to see more of this space or see what I think of these books when I do eventually read them. I'm thinking maybe 24 hour challenge. Let me show you them. It's a big box and I'm just gonna turn it this way. You see that symbol? Do you see it? This is the first thing that I've ever ordered from Fairy Luke. Um, I was planning on buying this anyway. And then I saw that Fairy Loot were doing their own edition and just decided to buy that one. Just a little Fairy Loot card and a uh, thank you for purchasing and please tag us card. And let me, let's get these out. I ordered the Ark of a Scythe box set because I've heard really good things about this series and always wanted to read it and I was gonna buy the trilogy anyway. And so I just kind of decided to get the Fairy Loot editions because this is a trilogy that is like a YA dystopian fantasy trilogy about a world where death is completely controlled and you have these kind of grim reapers in society who are trained to go and like cull society to make and death is yeah just completely scientific and objective and it is about our main characters being forced into becoming these type of grim reaper beings. There's a lot of packaging. Let's see how they feel. They're a lot bigger than I expected them to be. They're kind of like American style hardbacks. So we have the scythe and like it's just beautiful. It's got sprayed edges of the little scythe. It's got some gold foiling on the front. Is there anything underneath? Oh, it's got like what are these called? End backs? I don't know, but this is beautiful artwork. <gasps> I am in shock. They're so beautiful. And I think there might be another little surprise in here. They're signed editions. They're signed special editions. <laughs> This was so worth the wait. I am in love with these books. They're beautiful. Gotta pray. Gotta pray to the uh, to the fairy new overlords. I am so sorry that I ever bitched about you and your wait times. Cause this is this is just the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> oh, even inside the cover, even inside the dust jacket, there's like artwork. Oh, they've just literally thought about. Oh, so it's like it's reversible. I think. I mean, yeah, I imagine you could have it be reversible and have that be the cover. They've just thought about everything. Oh my goodness. And that is the end one. I don't know who any of these characters are yet, but I'm sure one day I will. And then we have the Toll, which is the middle book, and they've gone for a purple theme with this one. It's also got the sprayed edges. Let's see. Who is in this one? We've got this lady at the front. This man at the back. This one is sadly a little damaged. It's got a little nick on it, but I can live with that. That's not really a problem. It still has like a little bit of gold foiling and shininess on the front. And then the quote on the cover of this one is, yesterday you were gods, today you are mortal. Your death is my gift to you, accept it with grace and humility. And I've never been one for keeping dust jackets off my books, but these are just so much prettier in my opinion without the dust jackets. So I don't know. I did have a question though, because I knew that these were signed special editions, but I wanted to know if it would be genuinely signed or printed signed. But I was also curious to see if it would be in every book or just the first one. So, moment of truth. Oh, this is the, this is the third book 
This is the third book. Okay, it literally says book three when you open it. Oopsie, you can tell that I've literally never read this series before or purchased it. Um, no, this one is not genuinely signed. It's got a printed scribble, but that could just be, I don't know. This one, as far as I'm concerned, is not signed. And the other cover version in here is this one. So apologies that I thought this was the middle book. I don't know why. It is the biggest one, so it makes sense for it to be the last one, but I don't know. The way these were packaged as well, it was kind of hard to tell what went where, because I only knew, having never read them before, that Scythe was the first book. So this is Thunderhead, the second book. Green theme, still shiny. Uh, still has these weird like sides on the back and then the side is this person. Inside the front we have this man. Inside the back we have this lady. Ooh, she looks cool. I think I, I think I might like her. Preliminary thoughts is I think I'll get on well with that lady. I'm assuming this one also won't be signed. Yeah, this one is also not genuinely signed. Um, I am a little disappointed about that. I mean, I know the first one is signed, so they are still signed special editions, but I feel like to advertise them as a signed special edition box set, I don't know. I, I feel kind of bad expecting them all to be signed. I know that would be a lot of work. I don't know, for the 80 pound price tag, I was kind of hoping all three would be signed. So the quote on this one is, the longer we live, the quicker the days seem to pass. How troublesome that is when we live forever. And then, this one still has the weird side things on the side or the numbers on the back, which I'm assuming will mean something to me once I go into the series. This is what the like signed page in this book looks like compared to the signed page in this book. You can tell that this one is genuine, the other one is not. Whilst I'm disappointed with it, I can't say that it was unexpected. And so then the inside cover for Thunderhead is this one. So I'm assuming you could just uh, mix and match these, swap them inside out, do whatever you want with them. I probably won't because I feel like it would mess up the folding and I just prefer the books without anything on them. I mean, look at the spine of Thunderhead. They're just stunning books. Like they, oh, chef's kiss, they're beautiful. So this is what all three books look like together without their dust jackets on. And my eye can just picture these on my shelves right now. They're a real attention grabber. They're heavy though, won't I? Clear themes there. One, I am legend, yet every day I wish that I was not book two and book three and so I will show you them what they look like with the dust jackets on too. I want to say that I will keep them without the dust jackets. I do think they look so much prettier but I am just worried that damage would happen to them or I would lose the dust jackets or something like that because I took, I went through a phase when I was younger of taking dust jackets off my books. So my Twilight Breaking Dawn book doesn't have a dust jacket on it and I now like really regret that as more of a collector now that I'm older. So yeah, I probably won't keep them without the dust jackets on, but I wish that I had the confidence to because I do think they are so much prettier without them on. I'll definitely be taking my bookstagram photos without the dust jackets on. This is what they look like all together with the dust jackets on. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely not as good as like the god boiling, but let me know which you prefer. Then we have Scythe, then we have Thunderhead, and then we have the Toll. I do really like that they have kept the artwork like the same. They've added their own gold foiling, they've bouncied it up a bit, they've done the embossed edges. They've given you three different options for covers and how you want the book to look, I love that. But I will always try and go for an original cover if I can go for an original cover. And so I really like that these are kind of like true to the original covers. I am all in all very happy with these books, quite disappointed that not all of them are genuinely signed. But the first one is, and it's I don't see myself ever really selling these, so the fact that they're not all signed doesn't really matter like as a 
collector. They are beautiful. I'm very, very glad that I spent the money on them. When ordering from Fairy Loot, um, the price tag is hefty, like 80 pounds for three books, but they are special editions, they are signed, they are hardbacks. Um, it was just like the delivery time and the wait time, but I will say the customer service from Fairy Loot was fine. Like, I did email them to be like, hello, where's my books? And they were like, oh, we're really sorry, it's a problem with the publisher right now. And I had got an email last week from them saying that they'd received the books and they were going to ship them out. They shipped, I got my shipping email yesterday. They arrived on my door first thing this morning, so I can't really complain. Uh, hopefully this was useful to you. So thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed something a little bit different from me. I was just so excited about these books that I desperately wanted to film an unboxing video and the fact that I've had to wait since March when I ordered them. Admittedly, I ordered them like for pre-order. Pre it's not like Fairy Loot have kept me waiting that long, but they have been delayed by about two months. I was just so excited that I really wanted to share it with you. So do let me know if you enjoyed. Do let me know what you think of this series. Do you think I will enjoy it? Let's have a little game of guess whether Paige will like it. Leave me your reviews of these books and let me know your experiences with fairy loot so I know if this was just a one one time thing or you know like will it be safe for me to order from them again or will I always be expecting like two or three month delays. Do feel free to please hit that big red subscribe button if you are interested and you would like to see more of me and I hope you guys are having a fantastic week, you are enjoying everything that you are reading and there are no reading slumps in your future and I will see you for my next video. Bye, guys.